All right, hey everybody. So, you got your first barbell. Okay, maybe you have a few, but you wanna switch it up a bit. This is a quick review of arguably the best value for the money trap slash hex bar on the market, okay? A lot of people use these bars, okay? One of the most popular reasons is, you know, so they can do deadlifts and other movements. It is a highly versatile bar. You know, anything where you're essentially, it's like you're, you're holding two handles, okay? You can do a ton of stuff with it. Now, what are we gonna go over real quick? Is the usability, right? Like we just said, you can use it pretty much for any movement where you're holding it by your side. Like you're holding two grocery bags, obviously. Obviously you can load it more than your grocery bags though. The nice thing about this for the price is you are getting two different handle heights, okay? With knurling on both. That is a very nice thing. Meaning when you're holding the bottom one, and of course the bar is flipped on the other side, that means that your hands are in line with the weight and that affects how it's loaded on your body. It also affects from where you're picking up the bar, okay? Now, when you decide to go to the higher handle, it opens up a whole new world of exercises and ranges of motion that you can use with this bar and setup. Very nice, very nice thing. Now, I put on some plates right here. These are the Titan Fitness Urethane Bumper Plates. And I put it on to show you how well certain plates will fit, okay? This is a standard Olympic barbell uh, diameter, meaning it will be compatible with all of the plates you already have for your barbell. That is a very, very good thing. And you know, at the end of the day, we're trying to do, or many people are trying to do, what they can in a home and garage gym for pretty much as cheap as possible or as value-based as possible. And space is a big consideration. So it's really nice to know that everything you have already is compatible with the device. Now, quality, okay. With this particular one, this was a slightly damaged version that we got, okay. The knurling on it, yeah, it's all right, okay. It's nothing like a $400 barbell, but for the price of this, it will get the job done for sure. Something that might bug a few people, though, is that the diameter of the handles is quite small, okay? This is not the standard barbell diameter, okay? It is smaller, if you could see there. And, you know, that that is something to consider because it affects your user experience and also it affects those forearm gains, okay? You're using a smaller diameter bar or product, um, and that's that's going to affect things a bit. So something to consider. But for the price, you know, we're willing to look over it. Now something else. You know, this was a one-off bar, so it does not have the end cap from the company. That's okay though. Okay. Um, again, because it's a one-off bar, you can hear this end cap shakes and rattles. Not a one-off bar. I mean, this this bar was a semi-broken barbell, but. If yours, if yours comes like this, I'd probably send it back, have them send you a new one, okay? Worst case, you can solve this pretty easily, put a piece of tape on it, and then when the bar is moving, you don't have any, any rattle and nothing moving. Now, value-wise, value-wise, this is a killer, okay? There are some trap bars that are in the 600 to potentially $700 range. That is a lot of money for something that, you know, it's not necessarily as usable as an Olympic barbell, okay? Yes, there's a ton of things you can do with it, but let's not fool ourselves, it's not a barbell, okay? So there is arguably less that you can do with it. Now, for the price of this right here, this is an amazing value. The, the world it opens up to you for such a low price, I mean, I'd recommend it. If you have a barbell, this might be your next your next purchase, okay? Maybe a curl bar as a curl bar as well. But this could be towards the top of your list. Now, who should buy this, right? Um, honestly, if you have a 400 or 500 dollar barbell, 
and you know you're used to that really fine and nice knurling, you might not like what's on this bar, okay? I know when I picked this up at first, I was like, ooh, okay, this, I mean, it's representative of the value. This, I believe, is a chrome-plated uh, deadlift bar or hex bar. And, uh, I mean, the, the knurling is as good as, as good of a knurling as you'd expect for the price. So, yeah, who should buy it? I think anyone can honestly use this bar and really get a ton out of it. For the price, you know, if you want to take an extra $200, $300, put it somewhere else in your gym. At the end of the day, you're going to use this, you're going to get a ton of use out of it, and you're going to get a lot of great gains from it, okay? There is a ton of room right here to load plates on. This, for reference, is probably about an inch to maybe 1.1, 1.2 inches long. So you can put a good amount of plates on here. And this is a 25 pound plate for reference. So that's really all we've got for this, guys. If you wanna get it, you wanna see what's up, you wanna get into that hex bar or trap bar life, check below in the description, we have some links to where you can get this, pretty much the same exact bar from a few different companies. So if you wanna you know, price around, shop, check it out and compare. We have a few different companies that have this and a few different places you can get it too. Hope all is well. If you liked it, show the sport, please. We'd love it. Like the, uh, like the video. And if you want to see more, subscribe. Any questions, put them down below. Thanks guys.